What's up, my name's Stuart, and before we get started today, I want everyone to think back to your first day of school. It could have been your first day entering into a new grade or even your first day at a brand new school, but think back to how it felt walking into class for the first time. Finding your seat and figuring out who you're gonna sit with during lunch, even entering your locker combination for the first time. The first day of school comes with so many different feelings. It can be so unpredictable. Maybe you felt excited opening your very own locker for the first time, or maybe you felt nervous about finding friends to eat with in the cafeteria. Maybe you felt confused about where your class was located, or maybe you were happy to have a new teacher who seemed really nice or really scary, I don't know. But maybe you felt maybe you felt lonely because you were new at school and didn't know anybody, or maybe you were just super relieved that your best friend was in your class. There are so many different feelings we experience when we start something new. Because when things change, we're going into the unknown. Into the unknown, into the unknown. I'm so good. It's cool, it's a gift. <clears throat> and going into the unknown means uncertainty. We've never gone through it before, so we don't know how to feel or what to expect. And that can be really exciting, but it can also feel really scary. Your friend groups might be changing, the rules you have to follow at home might be changing, your bodies might be changing, your families might be changing, your favorite activities might be changing. No matter what this looks like for you, the reality is that changes are happening to you and around you all the time. Let's face it, change is one of those things we can't avoid in life. We've all gone into the unknown before and we'll all have to do it again. Some changes are good, some are bad, and some are just awkward. Simply being your age means that there are gonna be opportunities for so many new things. New independence to make choices for yourself, new things to try, new people to meet, new teams to try out for, new clubs to join, new church retreats to attend, new apps you're finally allowed to get, new freedom to stay out later with friends. All those new things, they mean change is possible. And some of those changes are not too bad, right? These types of things are easy changes to deal with because they're the kinds of changes we usually want to happen. But unfortunately, there are other kinds of changes too. Changes that we wouldn't choose and can't control. Changes that are unpredictable. Changes that, if we're honest, we might not like at all. Like when your parents announce that they're getting a divorce or you have to move to a new school or you get injured during the first game and you have to sit out the rest of the season or your best friend drops you for a new friend group unexpectedly or your class schedule gets harder or your group splits up or someone you love passes away or your older sibling moves out. Those types of changes, they make us feel awful. They're the kind of changes that make us absolutely hate the idea of change at all because going into those unknowns can feel really scary. Now, I know that for some of us, even if the change is scary or unwelcome or not something we choose, we don't necessarily hate change. In fact, something about going into the unknown is kind of exciting for some of us, but for others of us, change is something we don't deal with well at all. In fact, we kind of hate it. In the middle of it, we feel sad, angry, frustrated, or confused. In fact, any kind of change, good or bad, leaves us feeling a little worried and stressed about what's coming up next. It leaves us feeling completely out of control. And I don't know about you, but I don't love the feeling of out of control at all. No matter how we feel about it, change is going to happen. We all have to go into the unknown throughout our lives. And while I can guarantee that some of the changes we're going to experience will lead to really cool and amazing things, I also know that others will be difficult and hard to handle. But because change is a part of life now and as we get older, it's something that we need to figure out how to handle. Since we know changes are always going to come, how can we learn to stay strong when they do? Here's the good news for us. People have been struggling with how to handle change and the unknown since the beginning of time. All the people who live before and during the time that Jesus was on earth struggle with changes that happen in their lives. They live through a lot of the same things that we're going through today. Losing someone they love, difficult situations with friends, heartbreak, uncertainty, and so much more. And because of all the unpredictability they faced in going into the unknown, Many of those people struggled to trust that God was really in control. When their lives were filled with so many unwanted and unexpected changes, how could they really trust 
that God was with them and God was for them. I don't know about you, but that's a feeling I can definitely relate to. But what's cool is that we're living thousands of years after these people, and because of that, we can learn from their experiences. We can look at the things that they did and said and learned when it comes to dealing with change and apply it to our lives today. See, over and over again, the people that we read about in the Bible who were dealing with so much change kept coming back to the same truth. And I think it's a truth that the writer of a historic document called Hebrews said best. See, Hebrews is a letter that was written to Christians when the church first started. This letter included some very practical advice about how to navigate life. The writer gave the early Christians lots of great advice, but the truth that we're gonna look into today is something that they could hold on to whenever they faced the unknown. It's something I think can help us when we're experiencing change today too. Let's take a look. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, I know this sounds like a pretty simple statement, but it's actually a really big deal. In a world where literally everything has the potential to change, Jesus never changes. Jesus is always the same, and that means knowing Jesus changes everything when it comes to change. I don't know about you, but to me, this is great news. Since Jesus is God, it means we have access to the one person in the whole world who never changes, and that's God. So why is that so important? If so much around us is still going to change, why does it matter that God doesn't? Well, let me see if I can explain. We've already said that going into the unknown can be both exciting and scary, right? Well, I think it's important that we have something that we can depend on when we enter into the unknowns in our lives, something that we can trust when we experience the unexpected. Think of it like an astronaut. An astronaut has to wear their spacesuit at all times while in space. Their suit is a constant part of their space mission, and without it, they'd be in a pretty scary situation. This suit keeps the astronaut protected and safe from anything they encounter in the unknowns of space, and they have to trust that no matter what happens, their spacesuit will keep them secure. That is what trusting in an unchanging God does in our lives. God helps us feel secure and protected any time we go into the unknown. Like an astronaut depends on their spacesuit in the unknown, we can depend, you can depend on God when you experience uncertainties. When our families break up, or when we get kicked off the team, or when we move into a new city, or when we lose a friend, or when we get dumped. We can stay standing and stay strong when we're focused on the one person in our lives who stays the same, God. See, God never changes when you're in the unknown. And when we keep our eyes on God, we can handle any of the changes that come our way. We can walk bravely into all the unknowns that change brings. You can be confident when everything changes. Have you ever seen a dancer spin around and around during a performance? Maybe like me, you've wondered how they didn't get completely dizzy with all the change and the movement and the spinning happening with their body. You'd think they'd fall flat on their face, but somehow they kept going. I certainly wonder about it. So I thought it'd be best to have an expert explain it. Let me introduce you to one of my students, Avery. Hi, my name is Avery and I'm a dancer and I will be demonstrating the spotting technique. So what spotting is, is when you focus on a part of the wall and just look at it the whole entire time so you feel sturdy and you don't stumble when you turn. Avery spun around so many times but stayed completely steady and secure. She could have easily just fallen over. I would have fallen over. But do you know why she stayed so stable? It's because she focused her eyes on one unchanging spot in the room. As she turned, her gaze didn't leave that one spot. Finding that spot over and over again helped her avoid dizziness, feeling unstable, and possibly hurting herself. See, God never changes when you're in the unknown. What does that mean for us? It means God, who loves you now, will always love you. It means God, who cares for you now, will always care for you. It means God, who is with you now, will always 
be with you. It means the next time that you're facing unknowns in your life, you don't have to be taken over by insecurity or fear or frustration. Instead, you can remain strong by looking toward an unchangeable God, by keeping your focus on an unchangeable God. It means that you can be confident when everything changes. To help you do that, I wanna try just one thing. I want you to remember. I want you to remember a time when God was good to you in the past. A time when you felt God's love in your life. I want you to remember a time when God was constant even when things around you were changing and unpredictable. Maybe it was coming to this church and joining your small group. Maybe it was meeting a new friend at school or joining a club that you really love. Maybe it was when your mom got better after being sick for a long time or your dad finally got that job. Maybe it was a time where something worked out just the way that you prayed it would. Whatever it is, I want you to remember it and write it down. Put it somewhere you can see it so that you can keep looking back at it and then remember that because God never changes when you're in the unknown, the same God who did that good thing for you in the past is with you now. Since God was good and faithful in the past, that won't change in the future. No matter what else changes around you, you can know that the God who has been good and faithful will always be good and faithful. That is something that will never change change. And for those of you who, who aren't sure what you believe about God or don't know if you've seen God be faithful, that's okay. Just think about a time in your life something really good happened. Write that down and remember it. Or ask your group leader or other members of your group to share a story like that from their lives. We want these groups to be a place where we can ask questions and share stories that will encourage each other. So if you're not sure where to look for God's goodness in your life, ask your group to help you see it. Remember, you don't have to navigate this whole change thing alone. You have your group so that you can listen to each other and lean on each other and learn from each other. Talking about it with your group is a great place to start. This week, I want you to remember that God never changes when you're in the unknown. And because of that, even when life changes all around us, we can be confident when everything changes by looking to the God who never changes. Thank you.